Hello YouTube friends, welcome back. Today I have an empties video to share with you. We're gonna talk trash and whether I think these products are worth the money or not, how well they worked and all that good stuff. But if you're new here, I just wanna say hi. My name is Meredith and welcome to my channel, Maribel Trades. We do all sorts of unboxings here in my channel and grocery hauls and shopping hauls and whatever other shenanigans I happen to be up to at the moment. So if that sounds like a good time to you, definitely hit the red subscribe button down below and we can hang out more often. Another thing that we do here on my channel is lipstick of the day. Now today's lipstick is actually a gloss. This one is from Tarte and it is in the shade Sail Away. It's from their H2O line. And I got this one in my recent Ipsy glam bag. So I have been liking it and I was feeling pretty chill with my little blue hoodie on. So I decided to keep a gloss instead of a lipstick and uh, you know, not, not get all fancy today. But anyways, how have you guys been? I hope that you are all doing well. Uh, first thing we're gonna talk about is the Bon Ami Powder Cleanser. Now I get this one from Grove Collaborative. It says it's for kitchen, cookware, and bath. I have used it on my kitchen sink and on my bathroom sinks. I haven't tried it on my tub yet, um, but I really liked this. I felt like it was a really great price point. I think it's $1.49 on Grove and um, I felt like it worked really well. So as much as I like the scent of the Mrs. Myers products, um, I think I'm gonna stick with this one simply because it's like, I think a quarter of the price. So um, yeah, I really like this one. We did go through the Beach Hand Soap. This one is one that I got in a four pack at Costco. And my mother-in-law was at Costco and actually told me that they are currently selling, at least at her lo location, um, refills for the beach scent and I think she said the orange blossom scent so next time I go to Costco I'm definitely gonna be looking for those refills to see if I can find them so it uh, smells really nice and I like the design of the bottle um, and so I think I will probably just scrub the outside of the bottle up and see if I can refill it because I think it looks cute I went through I'm sure this will shock no one I went through the another bottle of the multi-surface spray from Mrs. Myers in the apple cider scent love it it's my favorite uh, scent and I think the spray works very well We did go through my husband actually finished this up because I started on a new set of shampoo and conditioner But this is the Nelson of Beverly Hills moisture healing conditioner This was just okay, and the shampoo that goes with it was terrible I already reviewed that last month, so this is definitely not something I would recommend that you purchase. It just wasn't very good Okay, so this is something that I am not going to use up. So I've used this lip scrub from St. Ives. This is the Sweet Passion Fruit uh, lip scrub made with 100% natural sugar. Now I will say that it does smell very good. Tropical and fruity and all the nice things. However, it just leaves this really waxy, not nice residue um, on your lips and skin around your lips after using like even after using like a mouthwash or mouthwash, a face wash on my skin, it still felt like there's this waxy residue. So I have to say I was not a fan and I think I'm just going to toss this one. I did not like it. Okay, I have two uh, candles. These are both from Library of Flowers, which is a Margot Elena brand. I purchased these online. So this is the Linden, or no, excuse me, the Field and Flowers candle and it smelled absolutely lovely. I very much have enjoyed the sense of all the Margot Elena products that I have tried so far. Um, I think it's just a really great line and a great brand. So I had this one and then, and that is number, they're all numbered, number 12. And then I also have the Honeycomb Luminary or AKA Candle. Um, this one, I liked, but I didn't like as well. Of the three candles I got in this set, I think this is the one that I liked the least. It's very, very sweet, and it's not just honey. Although you definitely do smell the honey. I think this is one that I probably would not repurchase again. Um, it, I like it better when it was burning versus like smelling it right out of the jar. I feel like the scent is really strong straight out of the jar. Um, but I absolutely would buy this uh, Field and Flowers one again. And the Linden one, which I think I had in last month's empties, was also really good. Okay, so I did try the Nude Sticks um, Tinted Cover. I got a little sample of this. Now, I am extremely pale, in case you couldn't, couldn't tell that. But I did try the shade Nude 2, and it was a little too dark for my skin tone, and it is definitely 
uh, very pink in undertone. It was almost too pink of an undertone for my skin as well. So just FYI, if you are looking for a tinted cover, um, it felt nice on the skin. Obviously, I only got a little bit of it, but um, I'd be interested to try shade one and see how it looks. This is something that I really liked. This was the Tristique, um eyeshadow. There's just a teeny tiny bit left. I could probably get like one more use out of it. Um, this is the Mini Shadow Crayon and it is in the shade Morimoto Pink Pearl. I'm gonna swatch it for you right here on the back of my hand. So it is very light and sort of a pinky champagne color. It's really pretty, absolutely love it. I actually do have a little bit of it um, on my lid right now today. And I got this in a FabFitFun box with a darker shadow crayon, an eyeliner, and an eye pencil. I'm wearing the eye pencil today. Um, I don't love eye pencils. I prefer a tinted brow gel. It's just personal preference. Um, but I would purchase this again. I liked this. I thought it worked very well. It lasted at least six months, if more, not more like eight. I'm trying to remember if it came in the fall box or the summer. I think it came in the fall box, which would have been like... September of last year, so I'm just now using it up and I've used it not every single day But quite a few days every week. So that was a winner and I liked the shade as well We also went through the mrs. Myers hand soap also in the apple cider scent I think I've got the last one. I think I pulled out recently. So I'm almost out We did go through a family size Gold Bond Ultimate Healing with Aloe. I really like this one. I feel like it absorbs nicely. It's not greasy. It gives really good moisture. I feel like this is perfect to put on right before bed and let it sort of soak into your skin. Um, but I feel like, you know, within a minute of using it, you can still turn a door handle and all that good stuff. I did use up the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. This has um, the the color of the cream is actually very similar to the color of the jar. I don't know if that's going to come across on camera because of the lighting. Um, but the, the cream is actually a really light purple color. It has a nice, almost, like almost a pine scent to it. It's, I really like it a lot. I think I like the, um, oh, what is it called? It's from It Cosmetics. It's not the Confidence in a Cream. It's the other one that I tried last month and I can't think of the name of it. I'll try and type it up below if I can find it online. Um, I think I like that one a little bit better and I think it's actually a little bit less expensive than this one, but I do like it a lot. Um, so if I got another sample of this, I would be perfectly happy with that. Okay, so here is one that I did not love. So this is the Bath Babes Volcanic Sand and Charcoal Face Scrub. I normally like a lot of Bath Babes products. However, this is a super dark. <laughs> Can you tell it's been in my shower a while? I did finally use up the last little bit there, but it's this really dark charcoal scrub. And unfortunately, I've kind of found that I just don't like charcoal based products. I feel like you just end up with this gray, runny mess everywhere, both with charcoal toothpaste and charcoal face scrub. Um, and I also don't like to use granular exfoliators on my face any more than I absolutely have to. I rarely use them, which is why it took me like six months to use this up. Um, so this is definitely not something I would ever go out and purchase. Am I very happy that they sent it to me to try? Absolutely. Um, I love Bath Babes products normally, but this one isn't one that I would recommend or purchase on my own. This I do really like. This one is from La Roche-Posay. It is their Tolerane Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. I felt like this did a pretty good job breaking down makeup and I liked how um, my skin felt clean but it didn't have that like dry tightness to my skin at all when I was done using it. Um, I use this in the evenings at the end of the day to cleanse before I put on my nighttime you know skincare routine and I absolutely would try uh, a larger bottle of this. I know it's sold at Target and I'm sure many other stores. Um, it has uh, ceramide 3 and niacinamide and uh, prebiotic thermal water. Um, so again, this was only a travel size. This one came in my Target beauty box and I definitely liked it. I believe I looked it up on Target's website and I think the regular size retails for like $14.99. So, you know, obviously not as cheap as some drugstore face washes, but I felt like that was a pretty good price point and I would pay that. So 
I liked this one. Okay, now we're down to all the like little teeny tiny sample-y things. Okay, so I did use this Give Me Brow from Benefit. So this, I felt like it dried out kind of quickly and it's very thick and the wand is tiny and because it's angled, I felt like it was just kind of awkward to use. Now, I don't know if it was because my hand was just so close to my face, um, but I didn't, I didn't love this. The, the shade was a good match. I have it in number 4.5, doesn't say the actual name of the color, but I had it in 4.5. Um, it was okay. I don't think I would go out and buy this one. I do think the um, tinted brow gel from Anastasia of Beverly Hills is a little bit better than this one. Actually, a lot better than this one, personally. So I think I would still go back to that. It's kind of my tried and true, and um, I haven't found a better option. This is also from La Roche-Posay. This is a teeny tiny sample. This one also came, I think, in that same Target Beauty box. And this is their tinted mineral sunscreen. This was way too dark. Um, I would love to see if they have this in other shades. This one doesn't have a shade name on it, so I'm not sure that they do, but it was definitely way too dark for me. So I'm going to give this to um, either my friend Ashley or my mother-in-law. They are both um, quite a bit more tan than I am, just in general. And so um, hopefully they will be able to use this as a good shade match for them. But um, yeah, it was not it was not good for me. I didn't even wear it for a full day. You could see it on my face. It was so dark. I did do, let's see, I think I did two of these. Yes, I did. I did two packs of the 111 skin. These are the Sub-Zero Depuffing Eye Masks. Do I think they work? Yes. Do I think they're the best ones out there? No. Again, I will say I think the gold uh, baggage claim eye masks from Wander Beauty are the best ones I have tried so far. But I did go through two of these because I had bought a pack a while ago and I like them. These are something that you guys might be interested in if you suffer from breakouts. Now these are the Peter Thomas Roth Clear uh, Acne Clear Invisible Dots. They literally are like these small clear stickers and you put them like right over your blemish and like sleep with them on overnight and it does help sort of shrink them down and I feel like it does help a little bit with the redness as well. So these ones have uh, salicylic acid in them so might be something to check out. These would be great to take with you when you travel. Ha ha ha. When you travel, when we ever start traveling again um, because you don't have to take a bottle. You can just take this little packet and slide it like even into your wallet. I did really like this Skin Fix Redness Recovery. So this was an overnight sleeping mask and it didn't have any scent to it and it didn't have any dye. You can see there's just like a tiny bit left on the bottom. Um, I really liked this. I put my retinol that I currently have on and then I would put this on um, afterwards. It felt really nice. It didn't break me out. It did not cause any sensitivity. Um, and I would consider purchasing this again. I, I did really like it. Um, I used the Vichy Laboratories Mineral 89 Eye Fortifier. I think I got, this is like literally a foil pack. I think I got like four uses out of this. It felt really nice. It didn't cause any irritation or uh, redness. It didn't cause any breakouts. Um, so obviously I only used it for a few days, but um, yeah, I thought it was pretty good. And then last thing in my box is the Everyday Almond uh, Skin Strengthening Mask from Face Story. This was just okay. I didn't see any major results or changes, differences in my skin after using it. My skin was a little more hydrated, but nothing I would say that sets this apart from any other sheet mask out there. So yeah. That, believe it or not, is rather a small empties video for me. All right, so that is everything that I have to share for you with you guys today. Uh, let me know down in the comments below what are some things that you have used up lately that you really enjoyed or absolutely did not like at all. <laughs> Save me the trouble of spending my money on it. Um, and until next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. I hope you are taking care of yourselves, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.